Detective Carter. Hey, you! What? We heard about what happened yesterday. You abandoned your brother on the mission. That's not what you do to family. Who do you think you are, Dom Toretto? Hey, man, you okay? Listen, I'm having a really rough day, okay? My head hurts. Uh, I don't know where he is, and I don't really care. I'm having mixed emotions right now. I'm just saying, um, if you need to talk to someone, I know a therapist here. Here's a card. I mean, if you ever need to talk to someone, she's one to talk to. I'm not too sure. I don't really trust him. Okay, thanks. All right. Well, you could go whenever you want. All right. I mean, could. Fine. I'm not doing this. A few moments later. Dr. Cindy? Hi, you must be Carter. Please, sit down. Okay, Mr. Carter. Just call me Carter. Okay, Carter. Here's the water. I just want you to relax. Um, don't feel uncomfortable. This conversation alone is already making me feel uncomfortable. I assure you there's nothing to be uncomfortable about. We're just gonna just get to know each other. Now, usually I wouldn't just express my feelings to a total stranger, but I'll give it a shot. All right, so what do you like to do on your free time? Drink alcohol. Anything other than drinking? Nope. If I'm off duty, you'll just see me with a beer bottle in my hand and more than likely gonna be passed out on the couch. You seem to really like beer. Do you have any family, brothers, sisters? Well, right now I have a brother who hates my guts right now and I haven't talked to my mom or my dad in the past 21 years. So let's just say I don't really have a really good relationship with them. Okay, so can we talk about why your brother hates you? Well, it's mostly because Wait, I see what you're doing. You just want me to open up so you can share all this information on Facebook. No, I assure you, I don't gossip about my clients on social media. I'm just here to help you. Yeah, sorry. I'm having a little trouble trusting people right now. But the reason why he hates me is because, well, I'm a detective. And the last mission I went on, I abandoned him. But he was a real jerk anyways. Okay, this is good. We're talking, you open it up to me, which is great. What did he do to you? Well, I guess it all goes back to when I was a little kid. When I was a kid, my brother was always the favorite and everyone loved him. And I was more of a dork. And this one time it was my uncle's birthday and they were designing the cake. And I thought I would get him a monster truck cake because that's what he liked. Little did I know my brother beat me to the punch and I was very disappointed. I tried to tell people that I did it, but no one believed me and they thought I was piggybacking off my brother. I tried to please everyone in my family, but no one was ever satisfied with me. Every time I tried to do something pretty good, my brother has already done it or has done something better. Um, let's go to my parents. My parents favored my brother. They loved him so much. They knew he was going to do great things in life. Me, on the other hand, they thought I would just be another homeless man begging for some spare change. And this one time I got an F on a geography test. My brother got A++++, which I had no idea was even a grade. I don't even think it is. So when I came home with that F, my parents were greatly disappointed. But when my brother got there, he had party cake. He got to invite all his friends to Disneyland. Disneyland! I want to go to Disneyland! But you know what I was doing? I was at home reading Fifty Shades of Grey. Do you think that's what I had planned for my Sunday? Well, I guess not, but look who you become. You become a very intelligent and successful. Whoa, whoa, let me stop you right there. I'm nowhere near successful. You know what I am? I'm a detective. And you know what? I barely get paid the amount I'm supposed to. Hmm. You know how much I get paid? Hmm. 20 bucks an hour. I should be making like 100. I solve cases for a living. I get shot at for a living. You know who my brother is? What is that? My brother's a Marine. People say that he's way better than me at everything. He's been better than me since the day we were born. 
and we're twins. The only reason why they call him the oldest is because he came out three seconds before me. And that last second was more like a half a second, but you get what I'm saying. But I'm not successful. To be honest, I wasn't always like this. I used to actually be a good kid. I am not a good person, and I know that. I'm a jerk. I'm an alcoholic. And I was never like that. I didn't want to be who I was today. I wanted to be a doctor. I wanted to help people. Instead, I'm running around like a goose shooting people. I take lives for a living. That's the only way I pay my bills. I have to solve cases and I have to shoot people. I don't want to have to do that, but I have to do it to pay my bill. Okay, okay. I can see you getting a little upset. Oh, it's not just that, ma'am. I've been through a lot. Would you like to hear about it? Okay. So tell me. Let's talk about that. Um, what made you this upset? Well, after years and years of my brother always doing better than me, and me just always having to put a smile on my face, making it seem like everything was awesome when it really wasn't, Here's how that all changed, and I became who I am today. I was just walking minding my own business when I saw some random guy who stuck out his foot and tripped me. Hey, that wasn't very nice. He got closer and proceeded to hit me and hit me and hit me. And I'd never been in a fight before, so he was pummeling me to the ground. But eventually, I was able to get up and start hitting him back. And I ran like Maury just said I wasn't the father. I never saw that guy again. I wonder what he's doing now. But during that fight, something snapped at me that made me realize you can't please anyone in this world, not even your own parents. At that point on, I stopped being the good kid. I started to sneak out at night, fail classes on purpose, and I would just bail on every family gathering to go, you guessed it, to the bar. After that, I started to drink a lot and I was only a teenager and I just kept drinking and drinking and drinking eventually I was kicked out of school all the colleges that I applied for I did not get accepted to any of them after that my brother on the other hand he was very successful he had a girlfriend he even bought his own car working a minimum wage job and he eventually bought uh, his own apartment and he was gonna move in with his girlfriend. My parents were really proud of him that day. Me on the other hand, I was sneaking out to the bar to go grab drinks. And I was just sitting there watching Tom and Jerry. And then I started fighting people at the bar and then I started stealing things. And then the poop really hit the fan. Eventually, my parents started noticing that I had an extreme alcohol addiction they started taking me to a council to try to help me. That didn't work out. I bailed on everything. I was a real big screw up and I knew it myself. Mm. At that point on, I just didn't know what to do anymore. Then my parents thought it was time to put their foot down. They kicked me out of the house, said that I was a big screw up and I wouldn't become anything in life. That would just be another hobo on the side of the road begging for change. And I told them, screw you, mom and dad. I could be better. And when I'm rich and famous, don't be asking me for a dime. I had nowhere else to go. I had no friends, no family members I could call to ask for help. I was on my own at that point. I would sleep under bus stations. I would go to the store and steal cash from the cash register, steal food just to survive. And then one day, and that day only, is when my whole life started to crumble. Mm. So this one day, I actually got a job. And I was actually doing really good at it because I needed to make some money. Mm -hmm. And then one day, it got robbed. I couldn't do anything to stop it. And actually, I was robbing with the guy. I thought maybe I could get away with it until the cop showed up. They beat me, and then they arrested me. That was the first time I've ever gotten arrested and caught. I was about to serve at least a month in prison. 
until someone, you guessed it, my brother bailed me out of prison. With the money that he was making, yeah, he was able to bail me out. But it was the worst humiliation of my life. My aunt was there, my grandparents were there, my parents were there. They were so disappointed in me. They cast me out of the family will. Are you okay? You can stop right now. Oh, nope. It's fine. But let's just continue on with the story. So one day after I got bailed out of jail, Eventually, I got an invitation that my grandma died. I didn't attend her funeral. I couldn't sit there and watch as all the faces looked at me. So I didn't go. I was at the bar the whole time. And you wouldn't believe who paid me a visit. It was my angry aunt who was very furious by the fact I wasn't at grandma's funeral. I told her that no one would want to see me, but then she told me that, of course, they wouldn't want to see me by the way I'm acting. I told her, why don't you just go away? Isn't Connor worth more of your time? And she said, yeah, because he paid for the whole funeral and everyone was happy to I see him. I walked away as she yelled and screamed at me and told me to never come back. After that, I just went to the bar and kept drinking. I couldn't stop. It was the only way I could just not think about it. And with my brother, whenever I just see him, I see me. And all I see is a disappointment. And I can't stop asking myself, why do I hate myself so much? Is it because I'm an alcoholic? Is it because I steal? I didn't attend my grandma's funeral because I drink and I drink and I drink and I drink. I'm sorry you feel this way. It looks like you've been holding this in for a very long time. And I'm glad you're talking to me about it. I, I guess I was wrong about therapists. They, this kind of felt a little bit good to talk about getting that all out there. But still can't clean the fact that, I, that I'm a terrible brother, a terrible son, terrible grandson, and a bad person in general. But here's how I actually became a detective, though. So after a few days, I stole again and I got arrested. There was a cop there that actually started knowing my name from how many times I got arrested for. He told me something that I will never forget. It's hard for people like you and me. I was in your shoes once. I get it. You're running away from your problems. But you got to stop running and try to start new again. And I tried. And eventually I started getting a little clean. The drinking never stopped though. And I became a cop eventually. I had a really bad record, but they gave me a chance because the cop was there and he helped me become a cop. And then after a while I did some work and I became a detective and here I am. You know, I think you should go visit your brother. Maybe talk to him. Let him know how you feel. I think that would be good for both of you. Good call. He's about to leave and go back to my hometown. Thanks. Good luck. 